air mobility in cities like London is currently limited to helicopters like this one, carrying out fatal work for the London's Air Ambulance Charity. But plans exist for people to travel in new types of flying vehicles in the very near future. My name is Vincent Jordic. I'm a senior acoustic consultant and specialize in aviation noise. We recently supported a study with the EU Aviation Safety Agency on the societal acceptance of urban air mobility in Europe, where noise was shown to be the biggest public concern, second after safety. My name is Ana Luisa Maldonado. I'm a senior acoustic consultant and Global Aviation Skills Research Manager for ARA. AAM, or Advanced Air Mobility, is composed of two types. Firstly, drones for deliveries, and the other which we call UAM, or Urban Air Mobility Aircraft, or flying taxis for transporting passengers. AAM could be quite a significant option in addition to the current transportation networks. They have the opportunity to be safer, lower carbon footprint, and more sustainable alternative to helicopters and other aviation modes. The overall noise level of this vehicle is likely to be lower than an helicopter, but the specific characteristic is likely to be more disturbing or annoying. Working with manufacturers, we can optimize the design of the vehicle by using a sound quality assessment. In the past, our demonstrations relied on sound recordings, but as AAM vehicle recordings haven't been available, we developed our own sound simulation methods and validated them against our own flyover test data. Over time, we improved our simulations to use semi-analytical models, which enable us to predict the sound of different vehicles, including the propeller noise. Arup has been developing a relationship with NASA since 2019, and we've put in place software transfer agreements, which enable us to use the NASA realization framework. Combining our in-house models with the NASA tool, we can synthesize the acoustic features of specific vehicles and help manufacturers to prototype or optimize their vehicles based on the noise signatures as well as the general noise level. By creating simulations, we enabled people to be inside a familiar environment, which allowed them to make their own judgment on what impact these vehicles might have either visually or sonically. Incorporating these into our cutting-edge presentation and engagement tools, people can experience and judge the impact of its vehicles in their own lives. This data can enable our group to facilitate communications with all the different stakeholders, be they engineers or decision makers or communities. Public acceptance is key for the successful implementations of AAM, we are starting to work with governing bodies, policymakers, manufacturers, and infrastructure developers to help minimize noise impacts. We want to facilitate objective, informed discussions about the impact of AAM on society. These conversations will give this exciting new technology the best chance to take off all around the world.